Welcome back, everyone. In a story you'll see only here on Western Mass News, two separate cases of severely neglected dogs coming into a local animal shelter has staff speaking out about what they're calling a disturbing trend. Now, one of those dogs so matted he could not walk. Tonight, we get answers about why this may be happening with more frequency and how the public can help. A warning, the images you are about to see may be disturbing. These two little dogs came into the Thomas J. O'Connor Animal Control and Adoption Center in Springfield within the last 24 hours. This one, whose staff believes is about 14 years old, was found on Commonwealth Avenue in Springfield. Oh God, the legs are matted together. So severely matted he can't walk and his eyes... I'm so sorry. Huh? ...caked with a half-inch thick painful buildup of discharge. This dog, they think, is about a year or two old. Despite his condition, still wagging his tail as he's evaluated. He was found on Hampshire Street in Holyoke. We don't know, but we made the make the presumption that he was purchased as an amazing, beautiful little white fuzzy puppy. Um, probably had quite a price tag behind him. TJO Executive Director Pam Peebles tells Western Mass News, dogs coming in like this, severely neglected and abused, is becoming a disturbing trend. It has become common for us to see between two and four cases every week of dogs that we would uh, consider between severely neglected and right up to potential cruelty charges. Both are getting shaved to relieve the pain of being matted. And so veterinarians can see what other issues may be present. People says many people don't realize that those cute doggies in the window take time and money. As uh, we see mo sales of more and more of these hybrid long-coated dogs like Shih Tzu mixes or Poodle mixes or Lhasa Apso mixes or uh, there's countless breeds with thick coats, um, we're seeing the level of neglect, the level of incidences of neglect um, skyrocketing. I think what so few people realize or make plans for is this is grooming every six to eight weeks for life. So potentially 12 to 20 years every six weeks at 50 50 plus dollars, and that's a lot for the average family. The prognosis for these two little guys, only time will tell. We will keep you posted on how those little guys are doing. Meantime, animal control officers say the public is really their eyes. And if you see a case of even possible neglect or abuse to please call, even if it turns out to be a false alarm.